reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. You know, one um, mistake that we can make as followers of Christ is to believe that because Christ died for our sins, we are free to live in any manner that we choose because, hallelujah, we have been saved. And here, as Christ is talking to his followers in that mountaintop experience, he lets them know that they need to be careful not to interpret things in that way. He didn't come to do away with the law. The law is something that is necessary as a bridge between us and our creator who is completely holy, right? We don't, we're not looking for the easy way out, right? So the easy way out would be to believe that because we have confessed our love for Christ and our desire to follow Christ, that we are now free to sin and do anything that we want to do because we are saved. I have literally met some Christians like this who believe that. And yet Christ cautions us not to fall into that trap of believing that. In fact, if you look at the words just before these, where he talks about not coming to abolish the law or the prophets, Jesus says in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your God and Father. And so rather than letting us off the hook with respect to our behavior, he's asking us to step up our behavior, to give glory to God. And so whatever good we can do, we should seek to be doing that good. We should be seeking to be, to or to leave evidence that we are followers of Christ wherever we go. Uh, if it comes to a dispute over parking, we should be the ones who um, behave in the way that is exemplary. We should be the ones who behave in the way that's loving and giving. We should be the ones who forgive when people sin against us. Christ has not called us to do less. Christ has called us to do more. And why? So that people know that we are his followers and they know the impact that uh, following Christ has on his followers. We want to represent Christ well by our behaviors, by our choices, by our relationships, the way that we think about following Christ and being a child of God. All those things we want people to easily discern from us. And so rather than doing less or being freed from a uh, the law and any rules that Christ might have for us or that the Father might have for us, we are instead being called to more. What a wonderful relationship that we have with our Creator and His Son. Let us live it wholly. And I mean it both ways, W-H-O-L-L-Y and H-O-L-Y each and every day of our lives with his help. Amen.